So guys, today I have another brand new product for my camera equipment. This is the Matrix 600S. It's a wireless video transmission system that can be connected via HDMI or SDI inputs as well. Now, the reason it's called 600S is because this has a 600 foot range of transmission with a 0.08 second latency. And for me, that is incredible and very powerful. So I'm super excited to try this out. It's by Moman. I've also reviewed one of Moman's microphones in the past. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link in the description in case you guys wanted to check that out. But let's go ahead and unbox this and connect the transmitter to my camera and the receiver to one of my monitors. I have a couple of monitors in my studio here. So I'm gonna showcase to you guys the benefits of why someone would buy this. So let's go ahead, unpack this and get straight into it. Okay, so we have ourselves the user manual, give you some basic instructions and what the LCD display actually showcases to you guys. Inside here, you'll see there's the receiver and there's the transmitter. Now this, you can tell, is going to be very powerful just based on the size of it. And for me personally, if you are a professional filmmaker and you do a lot of video recordings where you need to see everything on a monitor, this is going to be the perfect solution for you just based on how high quality this will actually perform. Inside here, you have yourself the USB-C cable. So it's very basic. There's no additional accessories really inside the box. So you can pretty much be sure that once you do get this, you can get up and running straight away. A couple of other useful specs. This has a built-in antenna. And also, this is ultra low powered as well, and it's fanless. Sometimes when you do have devices like this, the fan noise can interfere with the audio coming from your camera or recording equipment. This is not the case with this one, hence why it's such high quality. So you will see from the back of these that you would need to power them with a battery pack. They can also be powered by USB-C, which is great. These are the two HDMI inputs there. Then you also have a SDI input on both of them there. And just at the bottom and on the sides of both of these, you have the quarter inch thread, just so you'll be able to mount this wherever you like in multiple different places, whether you have tripods or camera rigs, there's plenty of different options for this. One caveat to note is this only allows you to wirelessly stream 1080p at 60 Hertz refresh rates. Now, speaking of monitors, you know, this can easily be displayed on on-camera monitors. There's plenty of them out there. You can also display them on TV. So whatever you like, any HDMI input, then this would work absolutely fine. If you don't have a USB-C power source to power both of these on, then you can actually put two battery packs in this. These take the standard NPF battery. So they don't come with any, but there's plenty of options that you can buy online. I have a two pack here and I'm going to be connecting these. These are the Sony NPF F90 range of batteries. Very easy, you just slot it in. Like so, there we go. Now we have power source. So the fact that this is completely wireless and very easy to mount in different locations makes this the ideal solution for wireless video transmissions. And that 600 foot range just makes things so much better. Now, before I connect this to my camera, let's turn this on to see what happens on the LCD displays. So to turn it on, you can see there's an on off switch just on the left hand side. I will turn both of these on and they should be paired right out of the box, which there you go, you can see it's now turned on. There's three buttons here on the bottom. The directional buttons up and down are on the ends there and the menu button is in the middle. So if you just hit that middle button, there you go, hold it down, you go to settings, you go to message, and then you can go to back. Let's go into setting. You can do pairing or change the language. It's pretty basic. And you can see they're both on channel eight currently. So I'm pretty much ready to go. You also have for yourself the signal strength there. It's telling me that there's no video output currently, but I will do that when I connect the HDMI cable. And then it shows you the battery life just there on the bottom right, which I think is a great touch. And just in case anyone wants to take a look at the compatibility of the outputs for both HDMI and SDI, then you can see them here by pausing the video. And like I mentioned, the maximum output is 1080p 60 Hertz for the HDMI on the receiver. Okay, so now I have the receiver connected to my monitor. As you can see, it's just got the moment placeholder there. I've connected it with a standard HDMI to HDMI cable. These are not supplied, so you just have to bring your own. 
Now that this is connected, I just need to hook up the transmitter to the camera. So I've just got my Sony a7 III here detached. I've got the transmitter ready. Now what I need is a HDMI to micro HDMI so I can connect it to the camera. Okay, let's go ahead, put that in there, turn this on, turn the camera on. So now that it's firing up, you'll see the monitor back there start wirelessly streaming the video from the camera. And there we go, you can see, once it's powered up, it works perfectly well. So I'm just here in front of the tripod. Now if I bend down here, and I'll zoom out a little bit on the camera, just to showcase to you guys how much of the latency is when I'm speaking, in terms of what the phone is recording. So as you guys are now watching me on the monitor, I just wanted to showcase how much of the latency there is, and for me, it's almost pretty much real time. So this is a very convenient way to shoot things at range and in different locations. Now I'm super impressed at how easy this was to set up. It's literally plug and play. So if this is something you're looking for, this is the product to get. One other benefit that you might want to buy something like this is that if you have too many wires all around your camera and filming equipment already, this just makes it hassle-free, wire-free, and it's just so convenient to have, especially in a studio like mine. Now I have wires running all through under my desk. I've got it connected to my camera, to my monitors. I've got two monitors. This is something that I would definitely use just to free up some wire space, in addition to the high quality output that you get from the wireless streaming. So check out my description below. I've got all of the details and the links to the Matrix 600S. By the way, that name is super cool. And check out the latest pricing information as well. This is now most likely going to be my number one wireless video transmitter that I'll connect to my on-camera monitors. If I do a lot of filming outdoors, I'm gonna make sure to pack this in my camera bag. It's well worth it. If there's anything else you guys want to know specifically about this product, as usual, drop a comment down below. If you found this review useful, make sure to like this video. I have new videos out every week. I cover camera accessories, filming equipment, and all things tech, which I know you're going to like. So make sure you go ahead, hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.